Hi, it's Michelle from Movement Lesson, and I just want to talk about my thoughts on gravity, just so you can see the difference of the force or succumbing to gravity versus opposing to gravity. Now, we all know, no problem, that when I release, an apple and a ball are going to fall at the same rate. And, this, and we all know that I am going to fall at the same rate at the ball as my body. With the force of gravity, no problem. We all get that. However, up until now, most people don't realize that all life force function is based off of the opposition to gravity. Just the way I raise my hands. Now, Newton's law for every action is a reaction and the equal applied force. So I get it. Right here, if I'm just laying here, I am reacting to the same forces of gravity as this book. There's equal amount of pressure from the top to the sides, from the bottom. There's no difference. However, me just to pick that up, I had to issue a rotation to do this. I cannot get up off this bed. I can't levitate into a standing position. I need to rotate to start to present to get off of this bed. Every action that I've learned in my life from flipping the pages here to just looking at you on this camera includes some sort of rotation. What happens is, is when a baby is still in the womb, it's in a stasis very similar to the, what you see as an astronauts here with, with no gravity or very little gravity. It creates almost like a, a situation where they hang or they're in space. So when the baby's in the womb, in this position, first of all, there's very little organ function breathing, digestive, talking, none of these things happen. They're in a, like a, some sort of, of stasis, but the body is there to create a, an environment that it can expand in all directions. So the development of the heart, the brain, all of this in this environment, it expands in all directions. This is a very similar principle that you'll see in space. That's why red blood cells expands, the issues with breathing, the spinal expansion. It's up until now it's thought because of muscle atrophy. But the muscles aren't meant to, any cellular makeup is not meant to function in an expansion mode. The expansion mode is supposed to happen when we're in the room. Now I get it, we grow, we gain weight, those kind of things, but then we are expanding against gravity. It is different. Yes, there's a gravitational in the womb, but again, without certain organ function, it's still different to the central nervous system. So if you see a cat here, like in slow motion, falling down to the ground. You really see this torque gyroscopic type effect that goes as the cat presents back onto all fours. Now humans are capable of that kind of situation too. Humans just don't practice it that often. We really don't like to fall so we try to avoid it. We don't just practice it for the heck of it just to see how we can right ourselves and to balance on our feet let's say. People do it all the time. Cirque du Soleil, that's great. I had the same anatomical functions as that person in Cirque du Soleil. You're not getting this body to do that. Even though I'm very good with movement, I don't practice those things. I don't care to deal with it. So again, for me to get up, here as you see me work on the baby, you'll see a very gentle rotational touch. Any touch that I do with my clients, you will see a very gentle rotational touch because I believe, again, as in Newton's law, for every action there's an equal opposite reaction. I can recreate this kind of rotation through my hands into someone else's system and therefore if it's done properly their system feels that they've just done this movement and they've now learned from that response. A baby, as you can see here, only learns by responding to stimuli. The only way a baby can respond to stimuli that creates a learning pattern is with rotation. They are learning and all of their functions are based off of opposing gravity, not versus succumbing to it. Now you can see this also when I walk. When I'm walking, I'm not going, this is where I've mentioned, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I'm opposing gravity. I'm very good at it. I get it that I could fall at any time if I wanted to. I do that in karate. We have to practice falling. 
or I might hit a stone and I'm going to fall. However, any of my learning is done with some sort of rotation. The better, the better I can rotate, the better my cognitive functions are. Same thing with any kind of life force. You'll see plants coming up through and they, they have that rotation. You'll start seeing these within nature uh, with life forces that they need to oppose gravity. If they cannot oppose gravity, so in other words, if this walking, and even though you see me walking, notice a rotation through my pelvis, through my feet. You don't see it. My arms rotate around my body. I'm capable of rotating. I can eat and walk and do all these things. So for an untrained eye, you don't see the rotation as much as I do because I work with it. But when, when this walking now becomes difficult, where I start having a gait issue, let's say, I have to present to a cane, to a walker, gravity's starting to win. When, that's, when my system starts succumbing to gravitational force, it loses its rotation. Again, when I have a cane and all of these things, then you'll see the rotation start to decline. So does the human body. And that's where the system is, is starting to die. Same thing with a baby. If a baby can't present with rotation, guaranteed special needs. No ifs, ands, or buts. The difference between someone like a Stephen Hawkins, he's so rare. He's the only person I know of that chose the brain over the body. Most people, when they start to fail, will save the body, forget the brain. He decided, hey, my body's not going to be great. Let's go with what I got. And he stuck with the brains. And he's outlived, surpassed anything that I know of. But most people, like in his condition, would have passed at about the age of 35. He's, I think, 73, 74 at the moment. But again, he wasn't diagnosed until he was 21. So he also had those rotations. Had Stephen Hawkins been born in that condition, never would have been a Stephen Hawkins. He couldn't have learned from his environment. So without the, the opposition to gravity, humans can't function. Their brains don't know how to do it. All their organization for brain matter develop cognitive needs that rotation. And when that rotation gets traumatized, guaranteed pains, uh, or when it's absent, you will start seeing the system react in an abnormal way. So if you cr create an environment where they f always feel like they're succumbing to gravity, and then their system, their brains will get fooled. But even though there's, quote, some gravity in space, it's just like uh, Wagner's Law. It's the, the piano and the fly. There's so little gravity compared to what other systems are going on in the body, like the expansion and so forth, the, the system can't re react to it. So you'll, that's where you see the float in space. Again, very similar to like that in the womb, but you can't throw a ball, torque, do a screwdriver, any of those things unless your system is locked down somewhere else to create those uh, types of environment. I hope this helps. Thanks.